Hey, Disney Infinity Tears, welcome to episode 80 of Toy Box TV. 80 episodes? We've gotten to 80 already? Can you believe that? <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. And speaking of fun, we've got a lot of fun segments heading your way, including an unboxing of the Disney Infinity 3.0 Starter Pack. And we'll also be counting down the top five toy boxes of the Dinosaur Challenge and kicking it over to the Toy Box Mentors for the final episode of Toy Box Tales. All right, guys, check it out. We are going to unbox the official Disney Infinity 3.0 starter pack. Are you excited? I am. It's like it's all of our birthdays right now. <laughs> they say it's your birthday. I'm going to open this up real quick and let's see what's inside. Oh, my goodness. It is the game disc, Disney Infinity 3.0. This is what you're going to put inside of your game console to play all the wonderful, exciting stuff. And of course, in case you're brand new to Disney Infinity, we have Ah, oh, beautiful Disney Infinity base. So for those of you that are unfamiliar and might be watching this for the first time, you can take this, plug it into your game console, and then put the amazing Disney Infinity interactive game pieces on top of here to play as your favorite Disney, Marvel, Pixar, and Star Wars characters. What do you got over there ripping into it? Who's wait, that? Wait, wait, it's Anakin. Skywalker? Yeah, absolutely. Anakin Skywalker is one of two Jedi that come with the starter pack. And let's see the other one, Allison. And Ahsoka Tano. Oh, Ahsoka. Now, so I'm going to be the boy, you're going to be the girl? Sure. Who do you think stronger? Um, check out these double lightsabers. Yeah, exactly. Dual wielding lightsabers is amazing, but I know Anakin can absolutely hold his own. So not only do Anakin and Ahsoka come inside the starter pack, but what else do we have, Allison? Shiny piece. Oh, now this right here, you guys, is the Twilight of the Republic playset piece. So when you're playing Disney Infinity, you're going to put this down on top of the Disney Infinity base, and then that's going to take you into Twilight of the Republic. Now to play as Ahsoka, you can put her down the player one slot right here, or to play as Anakin, or with Anakin, put him down the player two slot. So if it's two players playing, put both those characters down, or if it's just one player, you can put that character right there. And of course, at any point during the Twilight of the Republic playset, you can switch between Anakin, Ahsoka, Obi-Wan, Yoda, or Darth Maul, and as you progress through the playset, don't forget that you can get special legacy coins to play as any of your favorite Star Wars characters. So that's a quick sneak peek at what comes inside of the Disney Infinity 3.0 Starter Pack, available August 30th, 2015. All right, it's time to go back in time. We're counting down the winners of the Dinosaur Challenge. I have an app for that. You have an app for what? Hold on to your shades, JV. Oh, boy. Whoa! Crazy old Oh, are we here? Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait. We're back, we're back in the Jurassic time period. Uh, I'm just going to do the top five and let you take care of this one. Kicking off our top five for the Dinosaur Challenge, number five goes to Not the Mama Remix by Pirate Steven. Inspired by the Walt Disney Television family sitcom Dinosaurs, help baby Sinclair defeat icy enemies and save the world as the Ice Age approaches. Any fans of the show will surely enjoy the dialogue and block art in this toy box. Great job, Pirate! Flying into number four, we have Dunbrock Island Hunt by the Baroness 89. Meredith's parents have fallen sick. And now, she must set out in search for the sacred trees on the Isle of Sky. This won't be as easy as it seems, as this island is sometimes called Dinosaur Island. Then up the dino hatchlings to find nine sacred trees to bring back Meredith's parents to help. The level design in this toy box is just beautifully landscaped. Major props to the Baroness 89. Roaring in at number three, Rex's Roaring Coaster by Model Train Man. Rock around this educational coaster, featuring the friendliest dinos to never go extinct. Rex, Tracy, and Arla will teach you about their species and occasionally make some great jokes. The team particularly loved the adorable vlog art in this toy box. Very well done, Model Train Man. Stomping in to number two, Dino Sitter by the Surrey 83. The goal in this toy box is to protect three dinosaur eggs by collecting leaves to cover the nest until they hatch, then raise and teach the dino hatchlings to hunt and survive in the prehistoric wild. I recommend picking your strongest character because you're going to have to defeat 30 predators in order for the hatchlings to grow into strong and thriving dinosaurs. This is definitely a must download for dino fans. And now, for the best of the best toy box worldwide this week, the number one toy box goes to A Prehistoric Expedition by Sonic Photo. Prove yourself as an archaeologist by exploring an ancient temple and embark on an adventure like no other. Once you find all of the fossils in the temple, escape an ambush of thieves on foot, and then an ambush of dinosaurs by car, and then make your way back to the skate plane. Amazing storytelling and level design, Sonic Photo. Well-deserved number one. 
Whoa, you're okay, JV. Yeah, I'm like a pro warper now. And by the way, I'm okay, no thanks to you. If anyone asks, I handled those dinosaurs like a pro. I'm sure you're very brave, JV. Well guys, it's time for our next challenge and in honor of the final Toy Box Challenge for Disney Infinity 2.0 before 3.0 launches, we're excited to let you loose in the Toy Box 2.0 and you can build anything you want for the Artist Choice Challenge. Okay, so that sounds like my type of challenge. Guys, we want you to build what you love to build and just have fun with it. Now, let's pass it over to Quinn, AKA Quinn Jitsu, for tips and tricks for this week's challenge. Take it away, Quinn Jitsu. Hey Disney Infinity 2.0 players, I'm Quinn, aka Quinjitsu. And I'm Ryan. Ryan, have you ever had those times in your life where you look back on your mistakes and wish you could just do it all over? Nope. Oh, um, me neither. But for those who have, we've got the Artist's Choice Challenge. If you have a toy box that didn't place, here's your chance to rebuild and rework it into the ultimate masterpiece it was always meant to be. That's right! You can also create any brand spanking new toy box you can imagine, without any assigned themes or limits. It's a toy box building free for all! And the Disney Infinity 2.0 toy box has a whole plethora of toys you can use in this completely open-ended challenge. Want to help me list them off? Wait, you want me to list every single toy in the 2.0 toy box? Hmm, well I guess you're right. The possibilities for this challenge really are, well, infinite. On to the blueprint then. So Quinn, what did you build for the Artist Choice Challenge? Well, way back at the launch of Disney Infinity 2.0, we released my Night Castle toy box. Back then, I was a brand new wet behind the ears toy box mentor with nothing but stars in my eyes and a pocket full of dreams. <sighs> you were so young and naive then. Well, let's just say that in the last year, I've learned a few new things and saw where Night Castle could be fixed and improved. And so I give you Night Castle Remastered, available now for download. Whoa, mama! What changes did you make this time around? Well, I saw places in the level where the camera angles could be unfriendly to the gameplay. So I reworked the camera on several sequences to be more user-friendly and smooth. I also reworked enemy generators and enemy wave generators, improved checkpoint functionality, and while I was at it, printed up the toy box as well. Nice! Sounds like a big improvement. But a true remaster isn't complete without bonus content. What? In Night Castle Remastered, there's a brand new pastry collecting side quest with a big reward during the final battle if you found all the hidden pastries. Oh, and did I say final battle? Um, yes. Yes, you did. Because now there's also a brand new post-final battle section with tons of deadly traps and platforming, all leading to a new final, final battle that will send chills down your spine. And all this will hopefully get you pumped for the sequel toy box, Night Castle 2 Quest of Shadows, also available now for download. Can you dig it? I'll do my best! Hopefully this level will give players some great ideas for reimagining their own older toy boxes or creating new masterpieces to share. Okay Quinn, it's time for the very last Toy Box 2.0 Edge. What tutorial have you got for us today? Well, cameras can do a lot for your toy box, including adding dramatic flavor or making for some really interesting gameplay. One thing I learned the hard way from the first time making Night Castle is that without proper logic connections, cameras can cause some weird problems. I'll give you some good tips to keep things running smoothly. First of all, when you have a camera change, you want to choose the camera transitions that make the most sense so the player's groove won't be thrown off. Is it best to use swing, or would fade, or cut work best? Another important thing to keep in mind is that players can be defeated or fall during your special camera sequence, and you want to make sure they're not sent back to an area where the camera view becomes a problem. A good practice is to place a trigger area around a checkpoint, and when that trigger area is entered when the player is defeated, it's set to deactivate any cameras whose angle is not friendly, and to activate the appropriate camera to give the player the view they need. You can do the same thing with trigger areas if the player accidentally falls into a previous section of your level, or you might simply want to place trigger areas connected to kill switches for the player to fall into. Nice. These tricks will really help cameras work for the player and not against them. After all, when you build a toy box, you want the player's experience to be fun, not awkward or frustrating. And just a heads up, the Disney Infinity 3.0 toy box has a ton of awesome new features that will make toy box building more fun and powerful than ever before. Well, that's it for this time. Have fun, use your imaginations, and we'll see you in the top five. Hey everybody, this is Quinn, AKA Quinjitzer from the Disney Infinity team. The time has come. Everything has led to this. The final episode of the Toy Box Tales saga is here. The time has come to confront Mundax the Gate Master, the villain whose portals have taken you to every imaginable realm in the universe. You have the Elixir that can defeat him for good, but Mundax has some surprises in store for you. Your battle will take you through many dangerous dimensions and challenges where you'll have to fly, 
fight, dodge, run, and float to survive. But Mundax isn't the only one with incredible powers. Do you have what it takes to crush his reign of terror and save the universe once and for all? Toybox Tales Endgame and all other installments of the entire 19-part saga of Toybox Tales are available now for download. Look for them under Disney's Toy Boxes, under Community Content, or find them using the Toy Box search on the Disney Infinity website. All right, guys, for this week's trivia question, we want to know. Disney Pixar has an incredible new movie coming out called The Good Dinosaur. What is the name of the main character in the film, the dinosaur character? Do you think you know the answer? Go ahead and leave your response down in the comments using hashtag trivia. Holden Singing Video said, My favorite Disney Infinity villain is Loki. He has mind control powers. If I had that kind of power, I'd never have to pay for food at a restaurant again. Damari said, I choose Maleficent because she's magnificent, the evil fairy godmother. Come on now. And Jordan said, My favorite villain is Green Goblin because of his glider. This week's question is, What kind of toy box challenges do you want to see in 3.0? Tell us in the comments by using hashtag community talks and your answer just might be featured here on Toy Box TV. First up on Twitter, we love that Pirate Steven has created the hashtag our Disney Infinity Toy Box. This toy box actually helps you decide which character you want to join Disney Infinity next. Let us know your picks for Players Pick 2015 in the comments. And over on Instagram, at Ray Sisko drew this enchanting concept art of how he thinks Belle could look in Disney Infinity. This is very beautifully done, Ray Sisko. You can check out even more of his illustrations on his Instagram. And bringing the social spotlight to a close, Usman Hyatt on DeviantArt created this banner of how a Kim Possible figure could possibly look. Wow, this is really incredible. You know, we've seen a lot of awesome ideas and concept art, and these are just a few of the awesome requests we've gotten. So, here's the cinch. You can vote for your favorite Disney character to be in Disney Infinity on Twitter or Instagram using hashtag OurDisneyInfinity on the official Disney Infinity Facebook page or on the Oh My Disney poll. Well, that brings another episode of Toy Box TV to a close. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss us too much. And if you just can't get enough Disney Infinity 3.0, have no fear. You can join us tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific time on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Disney for some more exciting 3.0 gameplay. All right, Allison, it's time to say goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, Infiniteers, remember, if you can dream it, you can do it.